Good morning, Care. Are you being a lazy butt? Huh? Are you being a lazy butt? So today I'm probably just gonna be cleaning it up and maybe go out for a bit, maybe in the afternoon or something. I'm gonna braid my hair real quick so it can set to its curls. Just wavy. I'm not gonna even make it like a tight braid. Just make it loose so that when you take it off, it will have like, you know, just like a wavy kind of type of curl. See? So, I just finished cleaning the whole living room. Even all the boxes that were used to be right there, I put them away. And some I put in the car because I'm gonna donate some of them. And uh, yeah, she wants to play right now. Uh, which I don't have time for because I am about to do dishes still. So next stop is the kitchen. And, um, and nothing else really today. Uh, I think I have a friend that's gonna come over. And I'm not so sure if she is gonna come over. So I'll wait on that. And um, if not, I'll probably go outside because it's a beautiful day today actually. So this is what my hair looks like when I take off the braid. It's not that tight of a wave. It's just pretty, pretty long. Kind of. I'm just gonna do that so that you can add some volume if your hair's a little bit dull. Yeah. So the corn man is outside, and um. If you guys don't know about um, elotes or Mexican corn, it's bomb. I mean, I'm kind of a purist. I don't usually eat it with mayo on top or the chili because I just don't like that kind. But I do get them. I'm actually thinking of getting one right now with just butter and cheese. Actually, there's people outside, so maybe... I don't know if I should go outside right now. Maybe after people are gone. because. <laughs> You know, so yeah, they're just buying the corn. That's the corn man. So I got the helote and I got a respado. A respado is basically just like shaved ice with some syrup in it. This one's strawberry. I usually get the pineapple because it's really, really good. But um, this one will do. I've never really tried the strawberry one. Let's try. But this is technically really just sugar water, but. It's refreshing, a little bit sweet, but um, yeah, it almost reminds me of like, um, you know that one that um, you put in a fridge, it's like a popsicle, it tastes like that, that comes in like uh, plastic tubes, those ones, but. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I usually customize my um, elote, and when I do, I usually just put butter and truffle salt, because you know, truffle salt is life. Make it fancy, y'all. But yeah, um, so I've been sipping <laughs> this uh, res a strawberry respado. And look at my tongue. Uh, and that's just by sipping it for like four like times or whatnot. But I still like, I still dig it, you know. I actually decided not to eat my elote and maybe save it for later for my snack after yoga or something. But I'm still waiting um, for my friend if she's coming over. If not, then I'll just do yoga or actually maybe I'm not even going to do yoga. I'm going to go outside and uh, take my puppy to a dog park. So I'm just going to, you know, uh, put my corn in a foil and save it for later. Because it'll work out. Pop it in the microwave after, or pop it in the oven, whichever. It's still warm though, so I'm just gonna cover it in foil and just keep it here for now. So peeps, right now the sun is actually shining bright, like it just said hello again, because earlier it was kind of like cloudy. But yeah, there's a good lighting. Look at that, it's so bright. 
makes my day really wonderful and happy. But this puppy right here, she's been wanting to play. This, her other favorite, I'm sorry, I just need to get used to like looking at the lens, but um, this is her fa favorite, one of, uh, you know, one of her favorite toys. It's a raccoon, but with a long body, so we call it a raccoon worm. <laughs> This raspado actually gave me um, a kind of like rosy tint on my lips, which I'm kind of digging right now. I need to put like any, you know, lipstick on or whatnot. If I do go out right now to take her to dog park because she clearly needs to go to dog park. She's been really playful right now, so it's a good time to take her to dog park so she has that like extra energy because all day she's been sleeping. I mean, that's what puppies do anyways, right? I mean, actually, technically she's not really a puppy. She's already um, almost three years old in July, but she still acts like a puppy. As you can see, I have put makeup on because I did decide to go to Pasadena today um, because I want to take my dog to the dog park and then swing by the pet shop that I buy her dog food from and then maybe go to a plant shop called Folia Collective. Most of my plants from the, in this home are from them, Folia Collective. They used to be like, um, I think they just sell a couple of plants from that boutique shop but now they actually took over and made it their own shop so I'm excited to see what kind of like varieties of plants they have and I'm just really excited. collective now we got our stuff from the pet store so yeah there she's walking all right I got goodies! Goodies! I'm excited. I'm excited to put them on top of a mantle. And I got other stuff too, but yeah, I'll show you later. Yeah? Okay, bye. This dog park, is, I think it's one of my favorite because it's really pretty. There's like a little park, and then on the other side of this park will be the dog park. So as you can see, she's very excited to get there. Kira, hold on.
I just got home and um, these are the things that I got from Sprouse. All this good stuff right here. I, was, I specifically went to Sprouts just because of this. This is James's um, body wash and it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It's called uh, Herban Cowboy. <laughs> so random, huh? It's supposed to sound like Urban Cowboy, but they call it Herban. Urban, or... It makes sense, because some people say herb and some people say herb. But it's urban, like, you know, all that stuff that you put on uh, seasonings. Or yeah, the things that I got from Folia Collective. I got this skin balm and it smells so good. Um, the moment I smelled it at that store, I was like, gotta have it because it smells so good. It's a little bit pricey for $11, but I think it's because it's organic and it has all the, you know, that good natural ingredients. I think it's worth the money. And see, let's just see how long it will last, but you know, it's perfect for your purse or something. But yeah, I'm just excited to use it. And I got this too. I think it's called Palo Alto, or I'm not sure if that's the name of it. Something Palo, but it's a type of uh, burning incense. You know, you uh, burn this to uh, cleanse your house. And it actually has like a little minty smell to it. I like how it's like wrapped in um, leather cord. That's kind of cute. And this was only $5. And you get like five of them in there. And this actually will go right here where my incense stays. My incense. Sorry about the mess, but um, I'm cooking a stir fry ish kind of thing with uh, ground beef portobello mushroom and enoki mushrooms I feel like I should put some pumpkins but maybe not right now because he's getting hungry and yeah this is actually cooking really fast there's still some kind of some beef that are kind of red but so far so good I just need to simmer it a little bit I love it healthy mushroom look at it you almost look so I decided to add Japanese eggplants because I still have extra and I'm just covering it to simmer a little bit and it should be ready. Mm -hmm. Cool. Ta-da! Ready. So yeah, thank you for watching and joining the fun for today. See you later.